Hey, what is going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be fishing the Clinton Lake Spillway. I'm trying to catch really anything, but I mean, stripers would be like the ultimate goal. Also be super happy with a walleye or two. I'll really be happy with anything I catch today. Uh, but yeah, we're at Clinton Lake. This is a pretty popular spot, so usually a lot of people here. But I am coming here on a Tuesday afternoon. So hopefully there's not too many people up there at the spillway. Hopefully I can get kind of close. There's a, it's a pretty nice day today. It's about 35 degrees, but there's really no wind, so it actually feels pretty good out. Early spring fishing, so yeah, hopefully we can catch some walleye or wipers or whatever. Let's get over there. All right, guys, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, there's not many people here. There's only two people, and they're kind of down that way, so I am able to get close to the spillway. First thing I'm going to be using is this little 1 8 ounce VMC Moon Eye with a 3-inch paddle tail on it. Let's see if we can catch something. The water is super high right now, so I'm probably going to lose a bunch of lures. First cast, I got some fishing line. Well, just pulled that out of the uh, river. Did I just get hit? Guys, I might have just got bit. I think I just got bit. I was reeling up, so there's like no way it was a rock. Guys, I got a fish on. Oh, that's a big one. Guys, I got a big fish on right now. Hopefully it's not an Asian carp. I don't think it's an Asian carp. It's not fighting like it. Oh, it is an Asian carp. I think it's an Asian carp. You guys, it looks like an Asian carp. Haven't seen for sure yet, though. It is, yeah, it's a silver carp. Dang it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, thank oh, you, though. All right, there's fish number one. Do you guys want it? You want it? Okay. Look at that, just foul hooked it. Look at that. All right, here you go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Look at all that slime it leaves on the line. So nasty. Yeah, those are invasive, so those all have to get killed. Yeah, I'm gonna try to catch like an actual sport fish right now. But I mean, hey, that's the first fish I've caught in like five trips, so I guess at least I didn't get skunked. Oh my gosh, I think I just bumped another carp. All right, y'all, I didn't get any bites on that actual paddle tail. Or I didn't get any actual bites on that paddle tail, just that snag carp, so now I'm gonna try a little three inch twister tail. No, I'm sorry. All right, guys, just lost my jig head to a snag. So what I'm gonna be trying now is drop shotting a gulp minnow. Uh, I think the, just like with the design of the drop shot weight, it should pull out of the rocks down there a little bit easier. And with uh, the bait being, you know, suspended like a foot above the bottom, that should keep it in the strike zone and you're not just like hidden in the rocks, you know? So, so I don't know, let's see if this catches a fish. Oh, I just had a fish. Y'all, I just had a fish on. I didn't set the hook because I thought it was a rock and I didn't want to break it. Got one. Got one. That's fighting hard. That might not be a Asian. I don't know. That's a big though, so it could be an Asian carp. Hopefully it's a striper, but I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of going on a run. Holy cow.
Alright, there's fish number two. Got snagged again. You guys want this? You do want it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yep. No way, I got another one. Oh, that just came off. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it for me. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to catch any game fish, but at least I didn't get skunked, so that's kind of a positive. Also, I was able to take two invasive species out of the river, which is nice for the ecosystem. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.